Imagine being the sole owner of your favorite song. Well, now that's possible. An Edmonton artist is auctioning off a new version of his song with a lucky fan owning the rights to that new track and will decide whether or not it will ever be heard by others. Oh, my day is fading long. The song will be a new version of Cold Winter and will sound like it was recorded in the 1940s. Very uh, warbly and crackly and um, we're playing acoustic instruments and uh, so it's a really new version of it. My cold winter song. So how is it possible to give song rights to one fan? Jay Sparrow is auctioning off the new track as an NFT, also known as non-fungible token. Think of it as an original piece of art or the first edition of a book signed by an author, a digital image, sound file or text that the buyer will own forever. The internet kind of disassembled the music industry. It's been hard to sort of figure out a way to bring um, value back to a digital file. Sparrow says NFTs allow artists to take control of their work, especially now during a time where COVID-19 has canceled concerts and tours, typically a major revenue stream for musicians. NFT in the music industry has recently skyrocketed in popularity. Last month, Kings of Leon became the first major artist to release a record as an NFT. I can only count the the bidding goes for the next 30 days. Sparrow says this will be one of the first NFTs ever released in Canada. You know, only the person who purchased it is going to decide what they want to do with it or who's going to listen to it. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.